Hey everyone, I am just, you know, dying at home sick. So I thought I would do a vlog of my day, what I do when I'm sick at home for the day. I don't know, what am I doing? Is this stupid? I don't know. This may be, you know, the dumbest thing I've done, but I don't know. I just wanted to take you guys through my day, I guess. Something longer than, you know, a condensed 60 seconds. So yeah, it's a Tuesday. Nothing special going on except for the fact that I'm sick at home. Um, I've had a really bad cold. So, yeah. <sighs> I've never done a YouTube video before. Here we go, I guess. Welcome to a Tuesday with a sick Rachel. I use the word outing because Poe doesn't understand that word. He gets really excited when I say the W word. And that's what we're going to do this morning. Poe. Do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Yeah, yeah, let's go on a walk. Let's go. Once I give him the, the W word, the walk word, he gets very impatient and whines. What are we doing, Poe? Are we going on a walk? Oh, we are, good boy. Gotta put my shoes on. Po, good boy. After my walk, I need to get ready. I feel like I'm never really productive until I actually look decent. I feel like if I were to stay like this, you know, my face is kind of a mess. I'm in this, look at this. I'm in this Star Wars t-shirt and sweats. My hair is like a rat's nest. Look at it up close. It's so gross. Um, I would probably sit in bed all day and do nothing. I think usually I do makeup first and then I do hair. I don't know if that's the right way to do things. That's just how I do them. Put these bad boys in. Keep all my makeup in here. Also, listen, I'm not a makeup guru. I used to watch like, you know, James Charles and Jeffree Star religiously. Okay, be warned. Be warned, this foundation shade does not match my face. This is my summer foundation, but I cannot buy new foundation because foundation is expensive. So I just try to make it work, okay? Watch, look. See that? I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but trust me, it's really bad. If any Gen Zers are watching this video and have tips on how to do my makeup better, I feel like you guys are all gorgeous. So if you guys have tips on, you know, how I should do my makeup better to look like you guys and young and fresh and flawless, please tell me. Do a little, a little concealer. Okay, so next I put on bronzer. I forgot to put on the mission, like I said. I'm not a makeup guru. Okay, back to the bronzer. I saw this YouTube video that said, you know, I used to put bronzer on like this. And I saw a YouTube video that said to only go up like this and brush up. I genuinely do not know if it makes a difference, um, but I do it anyway, just in case. Blush. I put blush on my nose because I saw a TikTok of a girl saying to always put blush on your nose. Are people still doing that? I don't know. Also, are thin brows a thing now? Is that what's going on? Eyeliner. You guys know the eyeliner that Gen Z is doing where it's like, you put it in the, the inner corner. You guys look hot. I'm not doing it. I don't think I could pull it off. Should I do it? I'm not going anywhere today. I'm sick, I'm at home. No. 
lashes. That's it. Here's my makeup all done. You can see it a little better in the, with the window light coming at me. This is pretty much what I do. So hair time. I do have thick hair. Um, I know that so many people have thicker hair than me, but personally, I think my hair is pretty thick. So I usually go in several layers when I'm curling my hair. Um, I think usually I do about four. So I will keep a layer down and then throw everything on the top. Basically what I do is I grab a strand and all I do is twist it around. I hold it for a sec and let it fall. And that's how it looks. Here's how it looks when it's done. Say hi, Poe. Currently, we don't have a dresser. That mess is what I am dealing with. I absolutely eventually will get a dresser just right now. Right now, there's a lot of furniture that I want to get, that I'd like to get. Maybe not a lot, but you know, a couch, a dresser is kind of on my list. But currently, I, you know, I work, I take care of Emery, I work on orders. So right now I don't really have time to grab furniture or, you know, eat. I get a lot of furniture from Facebook Marketplace. That's how I sold all my furniture when I was moving. And, you know, I don't even have time to go pick anything up. Anyway, clothes. I get 99.5% of my clothes from thrift shops. Um, California, Utah, great for thrift shopping. Michigan, you know, I haven't had time or money to go check out the thrift shops. I don't know if there's good thrifting here. Maybe sometime far in the future, I can find that out. But I do have some pieces from H&M and Shein pretty much are my weaknesses. Um, Shein, not so much, they're getting kind of expensive. Let's find something to wear. You know, I'm basic. I'm not very in with the trends right now. You know, I'm in mentally, but you know, physically I'm not in. Does that make sense? I want to be in, but I don't have the clothes nor the money to be in. So I'm thinking a turtleneck. Let me put it on. Um, I'm thinking probably black pants. I have these pants. They're kind of wrinkly, but you know, I'm not going anywhere. It's just for myself. So I'm thinking since this is kind of tighter, these flare out at the bottom. Okay, let's tuck this bad boy. Are you ever exhausted after you put on clothes or is it just me? Am I just like super out of shape? This is the fit. These pants used to fit me way better before I had Emery, but you know, I still like them. And I think the black on black looks nice. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Head into my basement. This is where I work off in this little room. It's a mess, I know, I'm sorry. Lighting is terrible here and I apologize, but I just want to quickly add, I am, you know, so grateful for you guys. I actually used to be on the floor um, in one of my TikTok videos. I think it was the third or fourth one I posted and I was working on some of the first orders that I had gotten and I was actually on the floor upstairs. Everything was on the floor um, and, you know, quickly I was able to get two, these two folding tables just from, I think from Walmart or Target or whatever. And uh, we were able to put everything on a table so I can sit down and work, you know, so much nicer for my back. <laughs> so I'm seriously, I'm so grateful for you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, I don't know what other to say than thank you seriously so much.
asking me when my customs will be open again, um, which is totally a valid question. The issue is just that I don't know. Um, I will be completely honest. I got a lot of inquiries, um, custom inquiries, a lot, um, like in the um, tens of thousands, if not more. Um, so... When I started responding to people, I just kept getting more and more. And I was like, okay, if I'm responding to everyone, there's absolutely no way I can keep track of everything. I started responding to people just a few at a time. And they would either, you know, not respond, say they're not interested anymore. Or, you know, yeah, I'm still interested. And uh, kind of go from there, tell them my pricing, see what they want, do it for them. Um, and then move on to the next people. I feel like that's an easier way for me to, you know, not get too overwhelmed, um, be able to keep track of everything better. So if you already inquired before I close my customs, I will get to you. I haven't responded to probably 99% of people, but um, just know I'm trying my best to get through things. Um for people who are waiting for my customs to be open. I'm not sure if they'll be open anytime soon, soon being, you know, the next few months, if not the next several months, um, just because I need to get through everyone who first inquired before I close my customs. Um, I guess the good news for people who are waiting for my customs to be opened up is a lot of people just aren't responding just because I've taken so long to get back to people. Um, so right now I'm probably per day, I reach out to about 10 people who inquired and I'd say probably about two or three reach back to me. Uh, so I'm go I am getting through people quickly um, just because not everyone is interested anymore. Hopefully I get through them faster than I'm thinking. So my thinking is right now, I'm like 99% sure we're going to do this. I'm just trying to figure out logistics and the best way to do a wait list. I've never done a wait list before. I've never had that many people interested <laughs> in my art. So everything's just kind of new right now. But I am wanting to do a wait list, trying to figure out the best way to create a wait list. I've been thinking about doing it on Google Docs, but you know, not everyone has a Gmail. I know there's like a wait list um, website that will do it for you, but it's pretty expensive based on the amount of people to be on the wait list. I kind of just weighing all my options and seeing what would be the best, the best way to create a wait list. Just, I've never done that before. I never looked into it. So once I figure that out, I'll announce the wait list probably a week or two in advance, a few times. I want everyone to um, know that there's going to be a wait list. Everyone has a chance to sign up because it will probably be like first come first serve for the wait list. So obviously the first people that sign themselves up are gonna be the first ones contacted once my customs are open again. So want a fair chance for everyone. I hope that makes sense. Also, if you know how to do a wait list, <laughs> if you know how to do a wait list and, or you've done one before, please tell me. I have no idea what I'm doing and wanna make it easy and fair for everyone. Um, just a couple seconds ago on the video, I said it was almost noon. Well, it's now uh, 12.59 and this is how many orders I did. <laughs> I feel like I do so much and you know, I'm like, holy crap, I just did a ton of stuff. And then I look at the stuff I did and I'm like, why does it take me so long? Welcome to the kitchen. I'm starving. You know when you need to eat, you don't feel like making anything. Hi, come here. Say hi, Paul. Hi. Okay, so anyway, food. I have an idea. Do you guys go through a phase where you're like obsessed with toast or English muffins? I'm in that phase right now. Beautiful. Love a good old English muffin. Yes. I'm not showing you my whole kitchen on purpose because all the counters are disgusting. Um, they need to be cleaned, but I'm not gonna clean them. <laughs> I'm not gonna clean them today. Oh my gosh, on a side note, I wanted to show you guys this on Instagram. I probably still will put it on Instagram, but I'll put it here too. 
You guys, Emery at her daycare, it is so cute. She did a finger painting. I'm so obsessed. It is so cute. Honestly, it's, okay, let's be honest. It's, you know, it's just random paint on a piece of paper. But you know, it's Emery, so it's so cute. Oh, didn't she do so good? My little artist in the making. First painting at six months. Beautiful. That reminds me. You know that TikTok trend that people were doing where um, your dog... You know that trend that people were doing where your dog would make a painting? And uh, I did that TikTok trend. You would put You would put a canvas in a plastic bag and put peanut butter on the bag? I did that with Poe. This is what he did. That's pretty impressive, huh? I mean, obviously he didn't know what he was doing. He was just eating peanut butter, but it looks cute and I want to hang it up. My beautiful plastic plate because I don't want to do dishes. I just did this uh, little portrait recently and I think it is to die for. I think it, they are so cute and that is the most gorgeous dog ever. So I just finished a custom, a portrait for someone and it's about 2.30. I'm feeling, I'm feeling really exhausted. Um, I think I might take just like a 15 minute break and um, I've noticed I've gotten a lot of emails since the last time I looked at emails. I think I will take a break and go back to emails. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I get a lot of questions as to what kind of dog Poe is. He is a Border Collie Husky mix. He's a good boy. He's perfect. I love him. Anyway... There he goes. I will probably go downstairs, bring my laptop up, respond to some emails. Okay, I've been editing um, since we last spoke and now it is time to go pick Emery up from daycare. Emery's daycare is only like, I'd say maybe three to five minutes away from the house we're renting. So super nice. Gonna go pick her up, I miss her. I usually go and pick her up right after I get off work. It's kind of like I work here, her daycare is here, and we live here, so it's right on the way home, so super nice. I miss Emery. She's been gone all day. I'm excited to see her. She's been adapting okay, I think. First week, she was obviously not very happy, but the past few times I've been getting her, uh, they've been like, oh, she was so happy today, so smiley, so, you know, hopefully she's happy today when I pick her up. Are you happy, girl? Hello, Stinky. <laughs> yeah. We just got home and I put her in, this is like her little bouncer thing. I'm sure most people know what this is, but she loves this thing. I am so happy that we got it. We got it recently, thanks to you guys. <gasps> yeah. Isn't that so fun? So the daycare said that she just ate. So she probably will be going down anytime soon, huh? I'll probably keep editing this video that I'm doing right now. Um, I'll probably just bring my laptop out here, hang out with Emery. Um, I'll probably see if I have any DMs or email inquiries to get to. Um, yeah, that's what I do. I multitask. Hey, you guys. So I just picked Steven up from work. Um, a lot of time has passed. Thank you. Can you make up? I just want to say thank you for watching my video. Um, nothing special. I just wanted to show you guys what I do on a day when I'm at home sick, um, not working or I'm working from home. Being sick sucks, but it's kind of nice because I do get a lot done in regards to people's orders and whatnot. So hopefully I can make more YouTube videos. Um, this was kind of fun. 
Let me know what you guys would want to see, maybe in the comments. Um, subscribe if you want to keep watching and get alerted when I post a new video. But thanks so much. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.